What's up guys, Leslie Robbins here. If the coronavirus pandemic has gotten you feeling a little blue lately, one tried and tested remedy may just make you feel better. A good old fashioned cup of tea. Welcome to Chato Tea Room, a classy and timeless culinary destination serving the South Bay from downtown Torrance. I visited Chato just prior to the outdoor dining ban being imposed again amid soaring coronavirus cases. I sat down with the shop's CMO for their celebration afternoon tea with the tea-infused chocolate pairing to learn since COVID struck what has changed, what has not changed, and what will never change. And yep, you guessed it, it's the tea. What is it about tea that makes everyone feel so much better? I think there's a sense of, you know, warmth in it. Uh, there's a sense of like being able to just sit down, self-reflect, um, being able to, you know, cozy up with a cup of tea at the end of a, at the end of the day and, and just kind of enjoy and just enjoying yourself. I think that's what that's what tea time kind of is. It's a family owned and operated tea room and tea shop that boasts four tea rooms throughout Los Angeles, including Torrance plus their online tea store. Their mission, promote the global tea culture while educating customers on the history and benefits of this most sought after hot beverage, pandemic or not. Given the current COVID climate, people aren't yes. really socializing as much. People are buying teas now for themselves, obviously not to invite people over to have tea. Right. What a lot of people are doing really, and we've noticed this, is actually buying tea for other people. They're kind of sending the love, spreading the tea around and just giving that to others now that they can't really be getting together as much. But a lot of the more popular teas would be, you know, kind of immune boosting teas, things that'll keep you safe and healthy during COVID. We've really shifted a lot of our focus to our online sales and our online marketing. I mean, that's really kind of the only thing we could do. Being a restaurant, you know, owner is uh, is tough right now. So a lot of sympathies to, <laughs> to restaurateurs. For this most recent closure, the team was prepared. They already had a solid campaign in place for its to-go orders, moving back to the offerings they had at the beginning of the first lockdown. Perhaps try some of their delicious and unique sandwiches, or how about their lychee blooming tea? I did, and it's not to be missed. The stores remain open from 12 to 4 p.m. for takeout and until 6 p.m. for tea and accessory sales. They have set up displays at each of their stores so customers can pick out some holiday gifts too. Now, of course, a lot of restaurants and businesses had to shift to takeout because Chato Tea Room is an experience. Yes. As much as it is the food and the dining, it's an experience. So how yes. have you shifted that part? Honestly, it was it was a struggle to kind of figure out like how can people still have this tea experience but at home. And our first kind of attempt at this was during the Mother's Day weekend. We did an offer where people could come in. We sold two tier racks that people could take, you know, sandwiches, scones, the cookies, the chocolates, and bags of tea as well that they could have at home and just have a little tea for two with mom. So we've kind of made that permanent so we are still offering DIY afternoon teas for people to take home. And if you come pick it up in the morning that afternoon, you can have some tea. I think it's been the successful attempt at taking the Chato experience home. Now, how has your menu changed during COVID times? We have over 300 different teas. A lot has kind of had to change. We still offer all of our typical teas that we have, the 300, but in terms of our menus that we've had to change, you can see that we've kind of like narrowed it down to just a few items on, on this menu, but we still have our full tea list that people can choose from. But obviously with COVID, there's a bunch of guidelines trying to keep our own staff safe, trying to keep our customers safe. What we would usually offer to our customers is the experience of going in and being able to, you know, look at and smell the teas and really get a feel for what they were before purchasing. But we've had to kind of change that and alter it a little bit. Obviously, we're keeping that six foot distance when people do come in to purchase teas. So it's been a little bit of an adjustment. Instead of hosting big parties, people can go in and purchase teas yes. and collectibles. Yes, exactly. We've got tons of accessories and teapots. We've got storage canisters and things like that. We 
still offer the, the full 300 tees that people can go in and kind of and just take a look at and see if, you know, if it's something that they want to try and take home. So we've got our awesome wall of tees as we call it, the Great Wall of Chato. Mask on the entire time you're in the store. We've shifted from being able to smell the tees and getting up close and personal with them. Uh, we've had to kind of stop that and now it's just, you know, we hope that you can kind of get a whiff through your mask and everything, you know. <laughs> take me back to that moment, early <clears throat> spring, life shuts down. What happened? When it first shut down, I think, I, I remember getting on the phone saying, you know what, we'll be fine. It's just gonna be a couple of weeks. And here we are sitting, what, seven, eight months later. Um, never would we have thought that we would, you know, thank God, knock on wood, we're still open for business and we're still, you know, we're still running, chugging along, but I, I never would have expected to, for it to go on this long and for us to be, you know, having to change so much about how we do business. Being in the restaurant business, how do you put Chato Tea Room on people's radar given maybe people have anxiety to go out? I think the, the main thing is really just keeping our foot, you know, on social media and, and just in all kinds of advertising and things like that that we can do. Keeping ourselves unique, I mean, the ability for us to be able to introduce new blends, new teas. That first moment back in March, we really didn't think it was gonna last this long. We were shut down for quite some time where we couldn't even open. We were only open for the takeout. And then back in, I think, May, June, the ordinance came out that we could open outdoors. So we jumped on that. Reinvent ourselves outside <laughs> is, is not something that we thought we would do, but I think we're doing it okay. All of this is called making lemons into lemonade, or in this case, tea.